Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to talk talk about this particular topic and it is something that should be of concern to many people. Why it's not, I don't know. Why it's not in the real news, if there is such a thing, I don't know. But a lot of the reasons why they want to stop the internet news and saying everything is fake. Now, the fake news is fake news. And that's the major news networks. But the news... I'm sure you heard the tapping in here. But that was some kind of a strange sound. But anyway, I'm used to those. But the thing is, the, the fake news that we see out there and the media tries to tell us that the internet news is what is the fake news and that's not true they just don't want residents of America to know the truth this Muslim community now is patrolling the Muslim community patrols they have New York City residents alarmed because questions about the need for the as you'll see on the One America Network, this is just they're making police cars, that, they're making vehicles chapel, that look just like minute. police cars, and patrolling the streets short with them. Skirt. Except they have Islamic writing Bulls, on the vehicles. Being... And everyone was stating that they're not comfortable with this, not at all. Muslim community patrols in New York City, driving cars that look identical to New York Police Department RMPs. This looks a lot like Sharia police in Brooklyn. Yes. The Muslim Community Patrol. There's a Muslim man in this vehicle. As you'll see there, the Muslim Community Patrols. It's causing alarm amongst residents. With understanding. When you've got these Muslim community patrol vehicles, and you'll see right there the Islamic writing on the side of the vehicle, they said their plan is to encompass an area as large as New York City itself. An entire area. To rule over an entire area. This is like Sharia law. They said they started this because of discrimination. I'll leave a link to this original video below. But they started it, they claim, because of discrimination amongst the police. And there are only 14 cases of Muslims being arrested in New York City. And there are millions of Muslims in New York. So I really don't think that there's much discriminating going on there. So President Trump was correct on this. We need regulations. We really need regulations. And you can see by the comments that many people don't agree with this. You can check the comments out, and they're saying, why aren't they deporting these people for using Sharia law? The Constitution forbids Sharia law. It forbids because it means religious law, and that means any type of religion. There's a separation of church and state. There's a separation of, uh, you know, of religious laws from the government. There is, uh, from the, you know, from the United States uh, laws, you can't implement religion into the laws, into the Constitution and all of that. The Constitution for forbids it, prohibits it. And they're doing that. Sharia law is taking place. And it was taking place during the previous administration. It would be everywhere had President Trump not put a stop to it. And ripped up most of what the previous administration set in place. Sorry about the noises in the background right now. The cat is becoming very active. And whew, this cat is crazy, I'll tell you. She's crazy. I've never had a cat like this. It's just it's, She's difficult to deal with <laughs> at times, many times. But moving back to this, moving back to this, um, nothing is enough for this cat. Anyway, this is a lot like Sharia law, and this is not constitutional. Having a Muslim community patrol harassing people if they do anything that's against Islamic law. Does this sound like America? No. It happened in France, and what happened in France was the people got harassed. And because of the harassment, because of this harassment, they had to slow it down. But they didn't stop it. Now she just jumped on the back of the couch. Hey. Anyway, the cat is crazy. 
literally. Way too much energy in the Egyptian Maui. Maui or Maui, whatever. Anyway, Muslim community patrols. Let me know what you think. This is not constitutional. This is not right. Uh, the one thing the previous administration did, the previous administration created a bill that allowed the president to override Congress and just it, it, a presidential veto bill where he could just do whatever he wanted to do. And that's something that the previous administration did. Now, he was hoping, he was making the way for Hillary Clinton, where she could do whatever she wanted to do, with no questions asked. Well, President Trump used that for the border wall, part of the border wall thing the other day. The border wall bill. And a few other things. He also uh, issued a uh, another bill that he did using uh, using a uh, an executive order. That's the one thing the previous administration did that allowed the president to go beyond Congress without Congress's approval. And he does not like the fact that he did that because President Trump can now do what he wants. But the thing is, it's weird how the previous administration can do whatever they wanted, literally. But yet, President Trump can't get anything done that he wants to get done. And many things that would help this nation. But, that's the way they do. It's all one-sided. And everyone warned that this was coming. Everyone warned that this was happening. But you, you can't have this kind of thing in America. It's un-American and it's unconstitutional. As far as this Muslim community patrols. You already have the New York Police Department. You already have the Police Department of the United States of America that are supposed to support and uphold the Constitution. To defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States of America and protect the citizens. And protect and serve the citizens. Many of them harass and don't do that. But there are many out there that, that do their job and also do help, you know, protect the citizens. We don't need, they call this like a neighborhood watch situation, but it's not like a neighborhood watch when they get to the point of harassing citizens like they did in foreign countries. And this is, not, this is unconstitutional and it leads to Sharia law. Having Muslim law or Islamic law, that's Sharia law. They tell people, you're not abiding by the Islamic law, you're not abiding by the Quran. That's Sharia law. And it's happening. Just as I told about and warned about in a previous video a few days ago, days later you see this in the news. It's happening. I'll leave a link below to the original video where you can check it out. I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want any copyright issues, so I decided to, I might show the video, put some squiggles over it or something to co avoid copyright issues, but thank you. Feel free to support my channel. Feel free to support me and leave a link. I mean, leave a link. Leave a like. Leave a, link, leave a like, I'll leave a link to the original video where you can check it out. Definitely feel free to support me and my channel by PayPal. I'll leave the link for that below as well. It would be great. Any contributions would be greatly appreciated and would help out a lot. And um, so I can continue to just keep doing what I love to do and making videos for you all and spreading the truth and spreading knowledge and sharing personal experiences. So that would help out a lot if you donate. So feel free to do so. Peace and much love. I'll also leave several links below. Bye.